Yo, what it is, Breggles. Breggles. So, I'm just doing a quick little report here, you know, because every day I feel like I got to tell you guys a new story because I feel like, you know, um, what we're dealing now, right, because I have what, it's, uh, you know, 7 p.m., October 15th, 2020, right? I have a little time, so I'm going to tell you guys a story about this idea of career psychosis in terms of people needing to lie so much that everywhere they go, they train a narrative about ec economics, social life, domestic life, really not domestic life. People can lie about their family life if they want, but I'm just saying when they do that, it makes things difficult at home, which spills out into the world. But I'm just saying you can lie about domestic life. That's fine. But social life is relationship between different ethnic groups and different cultures, right? Uh, business is economics. It's capitalism. How much money do I have? How can I use my intelligence, the skills that I leverage from everything from resources to production to even other people to help me make money, right? And, and in this case, they wanted to use the NASDAQ. I'm going to talk about the NASDAQ in a little while. Right, because I just saw a guy say something to me that was so stipulatory, false, and fucking fake and disrespectful that I gotta call New York out on this shit now, once and for all. And we gotta record this shit and put it on the internet so you guys never ever lose track of what happened in this city, okay? Because you guys turn into a torture and mnemonics cult where you know you'll fake an entire economy, you'll fake wars, you'll pay for weapons, you'll pay for drugs, you'll pay for all matter of torture and abuse to yourself and other tribes, and never really own up for the fucking dirt you did, and then go everywhere lying even as the economy falls apart right in front of you, okay? So I'm gonna talk about two things today. So, three in actually, all right? Give me a second. Okay, so, um, New York is in mnemonics now. Uh, you guys, I've been walking around the city for like six months. I've been sleeping under trees, you know? And um, for all intents and purposes, uh, every day I panhandle. I try to get about maybe 12 to $15. I buy a little bit of food. I buy water. I try to buy some good nutrients. You always got to get vegetables. I'm not really relying much on unhealthy shit. I got to make sure I eat right. I get a couple supplements because you got to have, you know, better herbs than the stuff that you just get in, in fast food places or little groceries or whatever, uh, you know, and uh, I got to make sure I take care of my health and just keep moving, right? The point I'm making is I'm amazed at how pathetic and bankrupt New York is. You guys didn't pay for Adult Swim. You didn't pay for Google Android. You didn't pay for Froyo. You didn't pay for the development laboratories that do the operating system on your phones. You guys are stuck on stupid walking around looking at your camera phones, but you don't lift your head up and realize that your economy around you is bankrupt, right? You guys are stealing a large portion of the technology you're abusing every day. And to a man, to a brum, you won't acknowledge it with your conscience, you gotta be everywhere selling fucking fake and lying about it, right? And you're basically walking around with your phones in front of you and you're just dullards and stupid. You can't really be real adults and acknowledge what's happening around you. So you guys need to grow the fuck up, you heard? Uh, the global economy is not gonna crash because of your ignorance. You could fake it several times, but this is why we made the internet, right? Like I talked about in one of my earlier videos, a diplomat, let's say he'll go from Africa or Asia, he'll go to a, a, a court or in England or in Europe, Central Europe, he'll talk about the fuel trade or metal trade or science or whatever he has to argue economically for the globe, and before he even makes it home, an assassin follows him and kills him, you see? So this is the type of chicanery that would take place in the 1700s and the 1800s. Families were notorious for this. They never had to finish a single business deal. They would just kill each other. This is what diplomats did to each other all the time. So now that we have the internet, you guys have to be somewhere honoring the fact that when something happens in another country, you need to tell the real story about what's going on, right? You need to back, you know, the solvency of your family and your tribe to others, right? So I'm going to get to the point. So. Uh, like I'm saying, New York is pitching mnemonics to the last day. You guys see each other, you never, to a man and to a brum, speak your piece about what the fuck is going on. You just keep lying. And this is why this is important. I think what you're doing as a collective civilization is you make mnemonic cults every generation, right? You find a bunch of kids that break out. They have an innovative product they make or they solve an environmental problem or they have a science uh, innovation or they have a health cure and they win awards, they're celebrating, and all of a sudden they get shot and they're killed in the street, right? You don't want to see it from him again. And the whole economy morphs for a while and everyone goes back to not seeing a damn thing. That's what we call white silence. It's not really white silence, it's economic silence. Because part of economics is things like sabotage and assassinations and torture, right? You guys want to brutalize people into uh, conforming to your narrative, right? You guys did this to me. I, I suffered torture right here in New York City from my own family and members in the intelligentsia. And you guys were desperate enough to claim you had to do this. And when you failed, you just claim you're bipolar, mentally ill, and you went back to looking stupid and out of work. That's the fucking lesson there, right? So you guys tried this shit many times. Like I said, uh, uh, they tried to kidnap me and murder me in different places on the East Coast. And you guys feeled over and over and you got stuck your asses on fucking stupid trying to justify the tortures you committed, right? So I'm going to tell you what happened, okay? I talked about mnemonics. You guys are basically changing the narrative right in front of me. You know you guys stole Marvel. I did everything from Dora the Explorer to Cartoon Network to Del Swim to a lot of ill-ass art animes I started in the 1980s. I still do work for companies in Hong Kong and Japan. And the economy's rolling over and you're still saying you want another PlayStation and iPhone. You never paid for shit we did 25 years ago, right? That's what the fuck is wrong with y'all, okay? So, like I said, I'm going to make my point today. So, I was panhandling right in this neighborhood. I asked, hey, sir, do you have a dollar? I got to buy a coffee and a muffin later. I want to make sure I can stipulate myself. So, he's asking me, why? Why do you want a dollar for me for? What's this fucking ego, right? As if you don't know who the fuck I am, what you guys did to Marvel Avengers, right? Listen carefully. 
he's asking me why do you want a dollar. I'm like, well, wait, hold up, because I've heard this question before from arrogant, egotistical New Yorkers, a bunch of fucking assholes like you guys that don't do real work. I was like, well, what story do you have? In other words, what's your name? Where'd you get this car? This guy's driving a Range Rover talking shit to me, right? I know the Brits owe me money for this car, right? And Aston Martin. And you guys bankrupt and sued your own fucking asses. You don't pay for shit in New York, right? I'm going to tell you what it is. So I asked this guy, where'd you get your Range Rover? I want to know what dealership you got this guy from, because I want to go and talk to these guys. I want to know what you're telling about these cars and metal work, right? I want to know what this guy's name is. Do you have a name? Is there, what, what work do you do that matters, right? So this guy tries to flip it on me. Oh, I got plenty of money. I got plenty of money in my car. You want a dollar? I'll give you a dollar, right? But you, what do you look? You're a smart young man. You should be doing blah, 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 blah. Man, shut the fuck up, man. We ran Marvel for 30 years. Don't try to kill us, right? Over shit like Manga Corp and DC Comics and everything else we do, right? So I, I put this guy's career in perspective. Where did you get this Range Rover? I want to know. I want to know where a guy like you sells the fuck out to get a car that you guys know was stolen. Because you guys don't pay for design work and metal work coming from the UK. In fact, you guys practically stole McLaren again. I was part of the F1. As a kid, I had to do that car. They basically put me in that. They, they kidnapped me on you. They brought me to England. They bought me a track. They shot me in the head. They put me in F1 and exploded that shit. And claimed this is what McLaren is. Uh, we're a bunch of racist pseudo thugs. That's what, exactly what the fuck you guys are. Let me put your careers in perspective, right? Guy gets in the Range Rover. I want to know where he gets the, deal, the car from at a dealership because I can't have you guys claiming you're swagging out in New York with style and culture that you stole from us. You shouldn't even be driving these cars claiming you're legit members of this community, right? So now he doesn't want to tell me where he gets his car, right? A nice car, mind you. I don't have a car today. He has a, a stack of money. He has probably like a, a couple 20s, maybe 100, and maybe a couple fives, maybe like a couple ones, right? He flips through all the 20s, finally gets to the fives, then he pulls out a $1 bill and gives me a $1 bill. And he tells me, you know, you asked me what my job is. I told you what the fuck it is. I gave him a real name. I said, my, league, my name is Malik Francois. I never change it for y'all. I worked at MAC Wheel since I was one years old, right? Uh, you guys bankrupted us with automobile and design deals you stole. You didn't pay for Toyota. You didn't pay for Lexus. You didn't pay for Acura. You didn't pay for a lot of the cars in England. But you always need to be somewhere emulating our swag, right? You, you don't like the fact that we can just dominate companies like Aventador and Lamborghini, but we don't get paid, right? Because you're at a cultural deficit to style. You guys are not able to keep up with the arts. Right? You're not even be able to keep up with experimental art and science, but you need to be somewhere fake in your fucking careers, you heard? So, this guy tells me, I'm not going to tell you where I got my Range Rover. Alright, what's your name then? I'm not going to tell you what my name is. Oh, really? So, I got a name, I got a job, right? I'm an experimental artist, and a designer, and a technologist. I'm homeless, because of assholes like this guy. I have a story, I got a name and a career, of what I do. He just has a Range Rover, no name, no job. Doesn't even want to tell me where he got his car from. You see what, you see what we're saying by faking the fucking funk? See what mnemonics is? I'm only going to tell you what I think I need you to hear, not what the truth is. That's what mnemonics is. Everybody got to go somewhere selling fake over a fucking lie I'll told. You see? So I'm talking to this guy for a couple minutes. We banter back and forth. What ends up happening is he says to me, you know, I told him, you know, the NASDAQ is bankrupt because of losers like you. Right? You talking shit to me in a car you stole from a, of a British compact about an SUV, a company that you guys never honored. You never paid for its, uh, its development or its design. You're still driving those cars as bankruptcy. You're talking shit about us as career artists and designers. When you never honored us, you guys stole everything from Dora the Explorer to cartoons on Adult Swim. You don't, you don't even want to say my name correctly. You don't have a name. You don't have a fucking story. This guy ain't doing shit. He's not telling me the origins of where he gets his technology from. Tech I know is stolen, right? And he's still talking shit to me about how we run the NASDAQ, we run New York, we do whatever the fuck we want. Mind you, this is a cult that bankrupted the stock market really about three times in the last three decades, right? A lot of the older firms, companies like Micron Technologies, Nintendo, even Microsoft, those companies never been bankrupt. We kept making money. We kept working all the time. In fact, those products have been selling consistently since the late 90s. The market's crashed several times since then from fake fucking chicanery, from assholes like this guy, right? So let me finish. The point is, I said to this guy, I got a name, I got a job, I'm a designer and artist. You, you driving around a stolen car, because we know for the fact the Range Rover ain't paying us to experimental designers. You claim that you got money that you stole from a job that's not a real fucking job. Uh, ca trading bets in the market about what money is worth is not a real job. I don't give a fuck what corporations are doing. They don't even pay their directors. They definitely don't pay for design. And you'll even fake and change the law just to seem like you guys are tough, right? And this guy flips through all the 20s, flip, 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 flip. I don't think you're worth that much. I'm going to keep flipping through. Oh, here's a five. Oh, here's a one. I'll give you a $1 bill. Here you go, young man. You go out and you be somebody, right? So this is what the fuck happened to y'all, okay? You pay for torture. You pay for lies. You fake wars about kids you're trying to kill, about deals you don't honor, about money you don't pay. You make this insider closed society of your own persistent psychosis and sexual, monetary, and intellectual abuse. You ain't paying for shit. Right? You don't honor even real Americans right here in New York State. And you drive off without a name and a real story. I wish I took a picture of this guy because this is what the police should be doing. Right? You should be investigating shit like this instead of busting my fucking chops for the last six months. You're not doing real work in real estate. You're not doing real work for, on the NASDAQ. You're not investigating corporate and career fraud. You're not even investigating political fraud. You're not doing shit about the legal system. And you come around with your regalia and not doing nothing for nobody. So when you see me, keep it moving. Right? But these assholes like the guy I told you about, 
that flipped through his 20s and gave me a $1 bill and a Range Rover, which is a car we know is stolen. The Brits ain't paying for design work done by real artists in America, right? But you always need our resumes. You need to fucking orgle us to make it seem like you're legit. And he doesn't have a real name, a real story of nothing. And he's bragging, talking shit about, oh, why aren't you baking business? And you think I'm going to go back to 12 fucking dollars for you after you guys bankrupted Marvel Avengers and tried to kill us? Right? You guys are career frauds. Large portions of the market are done. Pharmaceuticals are done. That's a fake industry. We don't need pills that don't cure medicine, cure disease. They're just fake nutrients, fake stipulatory shit. It's not even nutrition. It's de definitely not medicine either. So pharmaceuticals, done. Next. The fuel industry, done. We don't need gas as waste in our gas tanks. They're training you guys to keep paying for a fucking meter. You're not paying for real transportation energy, right? You can do that with electric motors. In fact, the MTA uses electric engines on their subway. The bus uses clean air hybrid technology. That shit came out 20 years ago. You guys are just getting that now in your automobiles. And you think you're really working? You see? You see why Range Rover can't talk about me? Right? Because I'm not falling for this fake uh, economic platform and limited technology. I got to get to the next level. I'm not selling out for fake. Real scientists, real designers, real artists, we see the best of science. We don't see the fake shit you guys see play. You heard? Next. Um, what else? So we talked about transportation. Done. Clean energy. Going to destroy that as well. Uh, we don't need fossil fuels keeping homes safe. I mean, you might need a little fuel for your oven, but so what? I mean, you're banking, what, multi-trillions of the economy on fucking, uh, you know, a gas light for ovens? I mean, maybe, but maybe not. I just think you guys are not really doing real work on environmental solutions for energy, right? Transportation either, and I talked about medicine. Definitely not. What's the last one I was going to say? Um, what else? Another large part of the market that's done is, uh, you know, basic corporate work in America. You guys have middle wage jobs. You go to work, you do, uh, you know, data driven jobs, you do analytical jobs, but now AI can do those jobs, right? In fact, AI has to do those jobs. Most of you have been using Microsoft Office and with Microsoft Windows, you don't pay me for the work I do at Microsoft. You pay me to fucking lie. In fact, you drug us, you shoot us, you stab us, and you try to keep us broke and sick, right? So I had to regenerate my body, I had to fight disease and still be my true self in America because celebrities committed suicide in my building. They have drugged me. And shoot themselves right in front of me. I didn't know what to say. I, I mean, I'm basically dosed on Novocaine. They sprayed on me before I even woke up. This one was bleeding on the fucking hall on my on my building. I had to go downstairs and tell someone someone committed suicide in my hallway. Called the police, and I just left. I mean, I had nothing to do with that shit. But that's happened more than once. Because celebrities will bankrupt themselves right in front of me. They'll commit suicide. They'll say, if Malik has regenerative technology, if he can fix his body, if he doesn't love me, then I'll just die in front of him. If he loves me, he'll make sure I survive. Women write these suicide manifestos like this. I don't know what to fucking tell you. This shit is insane. You guys are are not healthy people. And you're, you're living a threshold reality about drug abuse and monetary abuse. You're not really doing real business. So you guys got to be somewhere real, solving real problems, right? So the point I'm saying, this asshole in his Range Rover was talking shit to me about how we run the economy. We do whatever the fuck we want. We run America. This guy's not a U.S. citizen. He's basically Iraqi and Pakistani. But he's a fucking asshole. Everything he does is fake, you see? So that's what I'm saying, guys. There's no real reason to hold it down for America. You guys sell out to the foreign international community. They ain't doing shit without us. You ain't doing shit without us. You ain't doing shit. You see? That's what the fuck happened to y'all. So learn your asses right. Now you're going to watch my videos and see what happened to you. You guys never had a real fucking story, you see? Most of the big businesses, the big chain brands, the big logos you guys honor, these are fake companies. You ain't doing shit without us. You ain't doing shit without us, you see? That's why we got into the arcade and the graphic arts industry in the late 1980s. Because you guys were trying to kill us then. You, you basically came to my d driveway in uh, Haiti in Port-au-Prince and you tried to mutilate me there. I was murdered by the side of the road. I survived several massacres and I still kept working. Still, you guys are walking around New York acting like you got a fucking story. So I had to make a video today to tell you this is the type of fake stipulatory shit you see in New York City all the time. This guy gets in a Land Rover, doesn't have a name, doesn't know where he even bought his car, flipping through 20s, money he probably stole. He hands me a dollar bill, tells me why am I broke and homeless and stupid. I gave him a real fucking story. I was at NHC Wheels doing exotic concepts for companies like Blitz, Weds, Wise Sports, you name it. Uh, before you even knew what the fuck those companies were, I still work at Grenades, a company in Japan where we make custom wheels. I did that job for several decades. They tried to kill me and hide the director of that firm, right? Uh, nobody even knew what happened to that company. Well, we were working there in secrecy, me and a couple guys. We had a lot of firms we worked with. I practically got shot for work I did by a bunch of vagrant fucking hussies from social media. You never did shit for us, you see? So this is what New York is. You guys will try to crash the market. You have shootings. You plan banquets of torture and abuse. You pull out guns. You have knives. You try to kill me. And when it's done, hey, I didn't fucking die. So now you losers sticking around saying, well, what the fuck do we tell this guy? We can't tell him to a man or to a brum what really happened. So let's just keep lying. So that's what mnemonics is, right? You guys fucked up. You crashed the economy over scarcity and psychological abuse and lies you sold and sold. When you were done, you didn't have the reason to be anywhere telling the truth. So you kept fucking lying again, you see? That's what happens. That's what mnemonics is. That's what mnemonics is, okay? It's about a satellite called the Nemo that comes around the Earth. It does all types of extraordinary things. It used to meet with emperors. It would do everything from, you know, interstellar meetings 
with extraterrestrials to large-scale structural work. It would do science work, research. It was basically an autonomous platform. Uh, however, it always stays in the same linear group of families. Right? It finds some of these old Moabite families from old Canaan and Africa that migrated from Egypt to Morocco to the Americas. All over, all the Central Asians have this sort of multidimensional relationship to transmutation and metallurgy. We tend to have you know, extra-dimensional, extra-sensory powers, and we graduate into those with everything from good behavior to good philosophy to good IQ and good psychology about what reality is. You see, you have to prove, show and prove that you're energetically ready to accept higher-dimensional skills and power. And the way to do that is to be a good student your whole life. Be a good student your whole life. Read every day. Don't let someone tell you what your name is worth your diploma. They shot me at the Savannah College of Art and Design and said, you can come back and work for $12 an hour. Right? This was in 2007, 2008, after I tried to graduate. And they said, you can work at a desk job for $12 an hour. Mind you, I fucking made Unreal Tournament, 2000, uh, yeah, Unreal Tournament right there at SCAD. We actually rebuilt that game and made it right there. We also made Quake 4 with Raven Software right in Savannah, right? Everybody's trying to hop on the resume and count money. They ain't paying for shit. I left Georgia with a bankruptcy, uh, I'm sorry, bullet holes in my fucking body and no real checks. You see, you guys try to kill me several times. That's why you're so fucking racist and stupid. You can't back real initiatives in the economy. So say your ass stu stupid and fucking hurt. You guys made a cult about nothing, right? You're, you're genetically insolvent. You want bigger ass, bigger lips, bigger tits. You want skin that's more diverse. You want to integrate with international communities. You're just a bunch of cult bankers in Central Europe that can't rule the whole world. So you pay for propaganda and lies everywhere you go. You follow? That's what mnemonics is. Okay? You pay for propaganda and lies. You even train the people in your community to accept psychological abuse every day. You see? So I'm still working at Alms Bowl. You ain't, you ain't got a damn thing for me in the banking system or economics. How's this guy driving a Range Rover? He can't even tell me his real name. Right, you ain't doing shit, and you still talk a shit about how you run this fucking country. You ain't doing nothing, all right? So I had to hear that myself. Uh, I, I don't really know what happens on Nasdaq and Wall Street. I went down there once for like a fake catering event. They said, "Oh, you're a waiter, Malik. Just walk around, wait tables." It was a fake sort of pageantry show of having people that are not supposed to be doing something, but really kind of oh, we're doing it the whole time. Which is, I'm a leader in our community, but you can't address me to a man into a brum because you guys try to mutilate me. I'm not even supposed to be alive. You can't talk about me in person, and still keep your jobs. But you still need to kind of have this pageantry show where you have me going places and re re representing your narrative. That's why you guys fucked up, you see? Uh, it's not real, recognized, real. It's stipulatory fake shit all the time. That's what it is, right? That's what mnemonics is. People got different stories for different scenarios. Uh, and they use, you know, a selective narrative and what you hear and what they tell you to abuse your ego. That's kind of what white silence is. It's all that shit, right? Um, you guys don't you pay for banquets of torture, sex abuse, and rape. Instead of resolving it like real adults, you pay for your fucking fake political narrative on TV about a carousel where politicians hop on and off just to abuse my psyche and my ego. You never pay for shit. You bank up the economy. You try to shoot and kill us. And you never actually let us honor real money at a bank. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to play this political narrative of you want to, to, I have to sound smart and intelligent for you guys. I'm very intelligent. But I'm going to tell you what the fuck is real. I'm not going to sell a lie just so your egos can function. You see? All right, so this asshole just now, they gave me a dollar and hopped in his Range Rover. Y'all fucking stuck on stupid. Don't ever tell me Range Rover did any real work, right? I don't want to hear that shit. You didn't do shit, all right? So stay your ass where the fuck you're at. That's why you're, you're stuck on stupid stolen technology. You should have come correct with a real check. All right? I ain't got to be nice about it. All right? I got chased out of home. I, had, I got shot. I had my family basically chased into the streets. That's what I'm saying. I, had, I, I hope my sons and daughters are doing better. I've seen some of you kind of around. You know, um, you know, I know that you're out there. Uh, don't tell me that you know, your mothers are bankrupting you and putting you back in cults also. Because this is what happened in New York now. New York is psychologically training itself to systemically abuse black men, men of color. You see me all the time. I asked for a dollar several times. I saw a guy with stacks of money in his hand. I asked him for a dollar. He said no. So that's what your NASDAQ is in a nutshell, what I just told you, right? You have stacks of fucking money, but you'll never pay us. You leave us broke, right? So that's it, friend. I'm going to wrap it up. Last thing I saw was, like, I was talking about punk money for hot lunch. Don't ever fucking tell me the governor or the mayor, um, the president, and what is it, Bill Gates? I talked about the president at the federal level, right? That's why he ran for office. He shot me already in the year 2000. The mayor, Bill de Blasio, he's a pseudo-thug, uh, bisexual uh, pseudo-thug. These guys are not really what they say they are. Uh, they're, they're in a different cult about a narrative they don't even really represent. They're selling their careers to other donors. They're doing whatever the fuck people tell them. The governor's the same thing. He's a stupid pseudo-thug, uh, you know, little fucking diddles-ass loser. I mean, don't, don't tell me you need a newspaper to talk shit about me. Like real men and real gentlemen, let's be somewhere doing real business. I'm not that fucking stupid. In fact, you're not keeping up with economics, right? The reason why they pull me in New York is they separate me from my older family members. They wait for them to die. They even kill them if they can. Sniper rifles, druggings, poisonings. Now I have less people that actually can tell a real story about what I do as a biotech developer. So I can't go anywhere with anyone backing me because nobody got a real fucking story, right? Uh, now you guys are wearing t-shirts about video games I make. Okay, that's fine. But I don't want you guys to wear shirts anymore. Put your money together and pay me direct. All right? Now, next time I leave New York, it's going to be last. This, this city is a pathetic uh, stranglehold of a lot of insecure, vitriol, and just complete... Um, 
systemic indolence and psychological ineffectiveness that makes you guys impossible as members of, of, of an international business community. You, you're not leaders of NASDAQ. You ain't running shit. You're not even born in America, right? So this asshole driving his Range Rover giving me a dollar, you're the fucking dollar that crashed this market. So I'm talking to you today. I wish I had your name. I would have addressed you directly, you know, but whatever. So that's what I'm saying. The governor was on a newspaper. I think it was the New York Post talking shit about how, you know, we're going to cut funding for kids in elementary school. Kids, are you hearing this shit? I'm going to tell you what happened to me in junior high school in 1997. I was going to school at Parsons Junior High School. Uh, Parsons, uh, it's called IHS 168. It's on Parsons Boulevard and 72nd Avenue. It was a banquet of murder and torture. They tried to shoot me in the chest. I got shot in the head. I got slashed. Uh, I, I survived basically having better technology than the kids around me. I would have died in that junior high. I would have died. I was doing gargoyles every day with biotech. I was publishing art. I think we were sending it to Pepperdine, California. Our, blue, our Not so much our blueprints, but our... Uh, uh, our animation work, our key, our key animation, all the whole thing. We were just working on it every day. We were using computer technology to do it. And still kind of doing it in that retro style that was contemporary to art back then. But it had to kind of fit in with mainstream television, but still be a good show. So I did Gargoyles, I did DuckTales. All the Warner Brothers animation series, we were working together. Uh, they were hiding my address. They were even hiding my name. They wanted me to be something else. One year, they, they had a lot of fake shit they did. And the fake social work, fake legal work too back then. It was a miserable period. But I got through it. We finished those shows. We moved on. But the whole thing I'm saying to you guys with this economic shit is don't listen to these people talking shit. Uh, everybody has a fake story, okay? Evolution and energy leaves the fake behind. Do you understand? We might see you guys as a species again, but you're still going to be stuck as humans, fat and overweight, glutting around over dollars you stole. You're not going to send to the higher parapets of energy. You're not, we're not going to see you in the Ascended Master Collective. We're going to leave your asses stuck on stupid. That's why you're seeing a lot of animals in the lower second dimension. They don't even have the intelligence to actually have high dimensional skills. They're just sick and stuck. Humans are in the lower third. You have linguistics. You can do a lot of things, but you don't even tell the truth. You see? Uh, the fourth is different. It's about psychic powers. Sometimes people are not ready for that. Uh, they use psychic powers for the wrong reasons. They tap into people's escrow and steal information from them. Then there's a fifth dimension, which you can be as evil or as good as you want. Um, you don't really have to answer anything, but you're definitely endowed with high levels of metaphysical uh, skill and genetic skill. You can transmute yourself in a lot of things. But I'm just still telling you there. You know, there's a lot of things to understand about dimensionality, uh, gen genetics, and evolution. You can call the different levels of energy and dimensions what you want. Just make sure you know how you fit into this larger cavalcade of energetic structures and consciousness. Don't be this fucking asshole getting in a stolen car with stolen attitudes about a stolen fucking ego without a name and without a story talking shit to me. You see? That's what happened to your whole clique of animators in New York. Everyone from Dora Explorer to Marvel Avengers to animators. Uh, every show that you love and the ones you don't like, PlayStation games, The Matrix, a lot of the shit we make at Sony, Microsoft, Warner. All of you are fake. You're stipulatory fucking losers. You ain't anywhere doing real shit. You heard? So we called you losers out. Get a real fucking story. New York will bankrupt itself again in 10 years. When I leave, you're going to train a whole bunch of animators in Marvel, use biotech, keep making TV shows. When we're done with you, we kick you off our credit score, we shoot you and try to kill your ass. You see? That's what it is. And then we're going to go back to lying to you and your peers also, talking about punk money for hot lunch and how we got to keep young little Latino and African families and Asiatic families broke if they don't obey us. That's what the governor is saying on this newspaper panel. I think it was the New York Post or Daily News, whatever the fuck. So y'all fucking losers, stick your ass the fuck down, all right? Everyone watching these videos right now, you need to listen to what I'm saying. You need to learn about this. These are, these are, these are techniques in espionage and psychological torture. They train kids only to tell the truth. Be obedient. You know, do what I tell you. On the other side of it, they're using espionage tactics, rape, torture, and abuse to abuse your ego every fucking time you're outside. So that's what I'm saying, friends. Don't fuck with none of these losers. They ain't got a story, right? New York is bankrupt. Y'all suck on stupid. So this type of shit I saw today, it doesn't happen often. Most New Yorkers are very nice. They're right, quite considerate and respectful. But this asshole talking about how he's on the NASDAQ and how he runs this country, these are the type of losers you need to be careful of. They're talking shit their whole career. They never honor real respect and consent. They always got to be somewhere talking shit and compensating for things instead of doing real work. So Range Rover, you took a fucking L today, all right? You got to question your customers before they buy cars from you. Make sure they know who I am, all right? Uh, NASDAQ, y'all took a fucking L too. You crashed the market three times. In fact, you guys destroyed the New York Stock Exchange, and instead of reporting why it happened, you lied about that. So the New York Stock Exchange done. I hope we destroy NASDAQ in the next three years. I don't want to see people currency trading and fake and real shit. You guys got to pay Queens, kids right here, Queens and Brooklyn and the Bronx to get real skills relative to empirical values in math and productivity and capitalism. We don't want you showing up places fake in your careers, making bets on the monetary value of corporations you don't even back with respect, all right? So grow the fuck up. You didn't do enough. And that's it, friends. The mayor, the governor, the president, and these corporate shills, they pseudo thugs, they're a bunch of pseudo uh, gangbangers, they're losers. We're not fucking with y'all. You didn't do enough. So get a real story, all right? So that's it. Um, October 15th, 2020. Right now, I'm in, uh, where am I? I'm kind of like in, uh, All of right now. I'm in the central part of Queens. I'm kind of like in a Northern Boulevard area, you know, a little bit, a little bit, uh, west of Jackson Heights, kind of. And, um, you know, I'm in, uh, Queens again.
Queens County, New York State, United States of America. Um, it's October 15th, 2020, about 7.30 p.m., okay? And um, I just told you what, uh, the word today, okay? Get, let's get out of fake shit. I don't mind this one guy talking shit to me, but what I'm seeing is New Yorkers as a collective are pandering to mnemonics. You ain't got a real story. You're not saying anything to me about your large structural changes in the economy, the deals you made with each other. You're buying these brands about technology you fucking stole, but to a man into a brum, you want to acknowledge me to my, my name. You want to speak truth to power to my face. You know you guys got money, but you won't pay me because you do that, you go bankrupt. If I leave New York, if I don't come back, it's going to be large-scale economic fallout because you guys can't bankrupt the large portion of the corporations you backed. Uh, the film, the television, the publishing deals, even the metalwork deals, the, um, all the automotive design deals. A lot of the shit you guys drive and the things you guys buy and claim that you pay for that shit, you didn't pay for shit. I don't get service at a bank. Never had more than 10000 cash for debit. Don't tell me the mayor or the governor did a damn fucking thing. These guys are career frauds. All right? That's what happened. I'm going to tell you what it was. They brought me to Stanford, Connecticut a couple years ago. They drugged me while I was sleeping. After I, I finished a little catering event, they brought me downstairs. They, they asked me to get dressed. I was already drugged. I didn't know what was going on. It was a, kind of a weird, hazy experience, but I, I, I kind of played along. They said, you're under arrest. I'm like, I'm not under arrest for what? What charges are you bringing up? That's why I had to understand the legal system. There's a lot of fake police work. I, had, I dealt more fake police work than real police work. That's what I'm saying. You ain't doing shit. If you guys are real cops, you would have bought me 10 grand for the work I did at Marvel's Two Iron Man 2. You see? Um, I don't know what you guys are doing. I mean, I, I think some of you in New York are stipulating that because of rape and torture uh, and like serialized violence and even like rape and pornos and like a lot of evil shit you guys did to me when I wasn't aware of it, you guys can't honor my name, uh, still see me get married and get a paycheck. In other words, you guys committed to such structural depravity uh, that there's no real reason for you ever, ever to tell the truth about what you did and still honor real consent and money. So I, I don't give a fuck. I use a tiger style. I want to know what lies you guys are hiding. I can't remember everything you guys did to me. It was a banquet of torture. I can tell you my body's intact from fingertips to toes. Um, you know, my health is better than ever. My memory deals with some trauma. I know that there's periods in my life that are more awful than I can actually reflect on. I know there was hazy areas of druggings and psychosis. And instead of you guys addressing that, the cops would try to arrest me and force me to go see psychiatric help. And then that was a scam too. Those doctors either tried to kill me in the hospital or drug me or transfer me, all this weird shit. I don't know what the fuck y'all were doing, but the medical system, legal work, lawyers, politicians, the banking community, and even, uh, what do you guys call yourselves? Yeah, just corporate figureheads. You guys are all fucking pseudo-thugs. You rode uh, this bank with C for visual effects and high art and experimental art and high science until they got us killed. And you hope that you could just kill us and off us. So that's what mnemonics is. You guys pandered to abuse so much, you couldn't admit what you did, but you still tried to seem like you were tough. So you little bitch-ass dogs, sit the fuck down. You ain't doing nothing, all right? That's what it is. You little bitches. I'll tell you myself. Fuck out of here. All right? So August, t uh, October 15, 2020, Queens County, New York State. United States of America. America. Oh my God. Yoruba. A maxim. End transmission. Arc Trades. Brome Ducats.